let's see. Sunday Night Football. My brother. Sunday Night Football, we got the Seahawks at the Steelers. And, boy, you want to talk about an awful, awful setup here? This is, I mean, about as bad as it gets. You got Geno Smith going up against uh, old man Roethlisberger. Steelers are a five-point favorite. I would expect that to maybe get out to, like, six or seven. A total of 42 and a half. Not a lot of points expected. Seattle is five and one straight up their last six on the road. But that was all with Russell Wilson. I don't know what to expect from Geno Smith in this spot. Like, the fact that he is still on the roster is kind of surprising. But I I don't see how the Seahawks score here. The only, the only way they'd be able to is if they were able to create turnovers, and I don't think that they can do that. So I, I, I'm going to go. Ooh, careful about that part. Careful about that part. Okay. And, and let, me tell you, let me tell you why. I think I saw a stat. Ben Roethlisberger threw 11 interceptable passes last week. 11. Now, they obviously didn't get picked off. But but in the stat of, of interceptable passes, in one game, he was over double digits. So, yeah. just because the Seahawks don't have a great defense doesn't mean he can't turn the ball over. True. He is still throwing the ball to the other team all of the time. Now, let me tell you what's weird about this game, okay? okay. Like, you, you know how I get on these networks for whoring themselves out for ratings? This is all this is. See, uh, NBC has the chance to flex out of this game. Chose, chose not to. Should have, 100%, and this is not a bias at all, this is the truth, should have went to Cleveland, okay? Because Sunday Night Football does not go to Cleveland very often. I don't know that Sunday Night Football has been to Cleveland in, I don't know, 15 years. Maybe longer. Maybe since, I mean, maybe like longer than that. All right. So, my problem is, instead of going to the best game, they went to a game in which you have one team has a massive fan base, and the other team has a pretty big fan base also, and, and, You've got a guy in Ben Roethlisberger who I've heard somebody report on this say they think they kept the Steelers because they think this will be Ben's last opportunity to play on Sunday Night Football for his career. And while it sounds like that's nice and well and good for nostalgia and stuff like that, no, 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 no. No. You, when you're in the business of being a television show, we, nobody, nobody, even Steeler fans don't want a show where all you're going to do is spend the entire time saying your goodbyes to Ben. Okay, while Ben was at one time a great player, Ben Roethlisberger has never been the kind of person. He's not Drew Brees. Okay, he's not Tom Brady. He's not Peyton Manning. You don't you don't spend the week bloviating about the greatness of Ben. Yes. I agree with you. And so now we get to watch Geno Smith on Sunday night. They get to ruin, ruin people's Sunday night television watching because they want to, A, pour themselves out to Steeler fans, and, B, pour themselves out to Steeler fans. They want the big number rating, and they want the Ben goodbye story that nobody gives a shit about. True, true. All right, now tell me about the game. What? What? I mean, is there any... Is there any possible way for us to look at this and, and expect a Seattle win with Geno Smith? Wouldn't surprise me just because this year in football, nothing would surprise me. I, what's the number you got right now? Uh, five currently. Yeah, I'd probably, I'd probably have to take the five, lay the five. Or I mean, lay the five. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's the way that I'm rolling just because I do not trust Geno Smith. And that offense for the Seahawks is just Russ. Like it's just it, you. You just let Russ cook. And I don't. I don't know that there's anybody in the league that could come in and replace what he does specifically with that offense. Now, I mean, obviously, you bring in Aaron Rodgers and Justin Herbert. You know, guys like that. You bring in those kind of guys. Yes, absolutely. But I don't know that there's any backup that could replicate what Russell Wilson does or what he means. Uh, to this offense, and without that, you got a guy that's that's making his first start in years, going up against the Steelers defense, which is not like the the Steelers defense isn't fantastic, but they can get after you a little bit, and they can make you uncomfortable. And when you're a rookie on the road, or not a rookie, but uh, you know a, a non-starter on the road, that could be a little bit of an issue. So you're you're riding Steelers minus five as well. 
Yeah, I think that I think you have to. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.